Well, hello there. Do you have a gratitude journal? And if you don't, how on earth are you keeping track of all of the blessings that you have in your life? I'm nice and I'm pretty and I'm smart. I'm a catch. Yes, you're a catch. all of the negative emotions and let them turn into that downward spiral of negativity that just reinforces itself over and over and over again. Well, I love to point out the hypocrisy of toxic positivity. I love a positive mindset that builds on growth and optimism. And that's why personally, I believe that keeping a gratitude journal is one of the easiest and most accessible forms of having a mind that is positive, optimistic, goal-driven, and well, counts the blessings. Gratitude, simply put, is just being grateful for the things that we have in our lives or around us. It might be our pets, it might be somebody who loves us, it might be living in a safe home, in a safe space, it might be being healthy, having a healthy body, a healthy heart, healthy kidneys, healthy stomach, you get it. There is so much to be grateful for. And if you put your attention towards the things that you are grateful for and that you do love in your life, you increase the level of dopamine and serotonin in your body. And dopamine and serotonin, they make you feel awesome. Dopamine is activating the reward system in your body and leads you to be looking out for more. So once you start a gratitude journal, a credit gratitude practice, you will eventually crave to encounter more of those things that you're grateful for. So you will actively be searching for the things that you love in your life. And my favorite mantra is attention goes where energy flows. So as soon as you start this wonderful practice of being grateful for the things through a journal, through an app, which I'm gonna recommend in a little bit, you are actively searching for meaning and you will quickly come to realize that, hey, there are so many things in my life that I love and that are cool and that I want more of. So having a gratitude journal is great for you on a neurological level, on a psychological level. It keeps you healthy mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And you can be grateful on a individual level that would then be mainly through the practice of a gratitude journal and counting your blessings. Um, saying or writing down three things that you're grateful for in your life, doing it first thing in the morning to really start the day off positive. But it can also happen on a relationship level. For example, when was the last time that you have written a letter to a friend, to a family member or to a loved one to tell them that you're grateful for them and why you're grateful for them? This is such a fun practice and personally I love it so much. I don't know about you but whenever a certain season is coming up and I'm Christmas, Christmas, Christmas is my go-to. Whenever Christmas is coming up and I am planning things that I can give to other people, I get so creative and I think, and I think about all of those acts of kindness that I can give to my friends, to my loved ones, to my husband. We can write letters to people in which we tell them that we're grateful to have them in our lives. It is so wonderful and it increases, interestingly, but makes a lot of sense to me, it increases our own, it increases our own happiness by giving something to somebody else. I think this part of giving to others is something so important that some people may not associate it with positive psychology, but it's actually a big part of it. Then random acts of kindness. You may have heard about it, but it is letting somebody go first in the queue that you're waiting for. It may be leaving a letter. Oh my God, I love that one. It may be leaving a letter at a random place to a random person in which you're saying one or two nice words. Just doing that, that action can make you so happy because you already anticipate how you bring a smile to another person's life. And it can be difficult or we may get stuck up in our habit loop of, well, not doing those things that are, that are actually good for us. So I think it is really good when we have an app that reminds us of doing those things. Gratefulness, journaling, acts of kindness. And there are a few apps that I have tested that I think are really, really cool. And I think you may really enjoy them when you're starting your own practice. So I, just, I love 
the fabulous app. I think this app is so cool because you start with little routines and they will get more and more and more over time. And they also invite you to do those things, being grateful, keeping a journal. They also have another app by Fabulous, which is called Anaxir, which focuses on purpose and meaning and introduces certain practices little by little, step by step, that is their approach. They have beautiful illustrations, they have beautifully made videos, and I think it's a great app. They offer a discount for students as well. I have no affiliation with any of the apps that I recommending that I am recommending I'm just recommending them to you because I really like them but I'm not getting anything so don't think this is sponsored something like that uh, another app that I just found is bloom bloom works with cognitive behavioral therapy and it is so good it uses um, artificial intelligence to find out about certain patterns of your behavior and it gives direct feedback which is really good, really on point, and you can work through it. They also encourage things like visualization, uh, keeping a journal. They have little bite-sized courses that you can take on a daily basis and also include gratitude. And it's just awesome. You should really test it out. I think they all offer like a one-week free trial, so make use of it. And there's another website that's called Mindzera. I'm not sure it's either Mindzera or Mindzera.com. Uh, in this, they also use artificial intelligence and they also have... Um, problem solving, critical thinking, they have a gratitude journal, they have uh, normal journaling in which they will find certain habits of your behavior. I think it's a really cool and really awesome idea and I have just checked today and they're always updating um, the functions that they're offering and it just seems like a really useful app for mental health, optimism and increasing positivity in our lives. And self-reflection. Self-reflection is so important. Uh, when we are not aware of who we are, who we want to become, what the current situation is, it's just limiting us. It's just limiting us, making us little ostriches, putting our head in the sand. Because a life of meaning means creating meaning in our lives. Uh, another possibility, of course, would be to just write a note or keep that gratitude journal right next to the morning coffee or morning tea if you drink one. The cup, not the mug, sorry, the mug. Um, if you drink coffee or tea or if you're just having water, just place it somewhere so you can see it right the first thing in the morning. So let's wrap it up. You should count your blessings every day because it increases dopamine. It will create a positive habit loop in which you will actively seek out more rewards in the form of things that you can be grateful for. You will increase serotonin. The happiness hormone that is just really putting things into another perspective. There's a lot of things that you can be grateful for and I would love to see you count your blessings on a daily basis. And if you're already doing it, let me know. I'm really curious to know what are the things that you're actually grateful for. So I wish you a wonderful day. I hope that you're setting yourself an intention, which might be the intention to be happy and to live a life full of gratitude and full of an open heart and actively seeking out pleasure. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.